Do you remember the the how do you got to bad friends? I do. Like um it was during the pandemic and mm -hmm. then you know Tito Bobby. Tito Bobby is reckless. <laughs> yes. He doesn't know how to clean his hands. He doesn't know what to do. And so Ati Kalila told me, Jules, you have to babysit him when they go to when he goes to the podcast, bad friends. And I didn't even know he has another bad he had another podcast right i always thought it was just tiger belly but they s just started i think yeah yeah and then so i said okay what do i have to do and she just said just watch him and make sure he doesn't like do dumb stuff <laughs> and so i did that and then tito bobby just told me like when we went inside the studio he just said okay just sit here <laughs> like in front of a mic i was like what <laughs> And he's like, just, just, yeah, just do that. And then that's happened. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I always said like. And I didn't even and... see you until. Yeah, because we, we would come in right after you. Left. Yeah. So everybody was very. So I didn't know it. you. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. I think we we made a video for you to turn the cameras so you could turn the cameras yeah. on and off yeah. and all of that. Yeah. And I think I like the first two or three episodes you weren't talking, but then they start talking to you. No, I was just like watching them on the, the, the screen. Yeah. And then Tito Andrew started talking to me. He's like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> Do you still feel like excited about things or are you already jaded three years later? Because I remember also early on that, that year, you had a brief appearance on Tiger Belly. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember who was on the, on, you know, who do you talk to? Mm -hmm. It's a very famous Philippine. Bretman Rock. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember like that moment? Yeah. How I exactly excited you were? I was so excited. And then after that, like my picture was just everywhere of me, like with my big eyes. <laughs> and then my friends from the Philippines saw it and they were just like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> But it was so cute and so fun. Do you get like that anymore or is like, no, you're over all of this? It's not I'm over it. I'm just always like nervous to be like around it. Like even when I'm just helping like with something in the Tiger Belly studio and then like there's strangers, I still get like nervous around. Yeah. I still get nervous with Tito Bobby. I, I get nervous it. now? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's his name? Pete. Pete. Yeah, he died on the on the on the crash. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. Hi, Pete. Hi. <laughs> so, are you nervous? <laughs> are you nervous now? No. No. Um, this is yeah. good. No. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, one more question about bad friends. Uh, what was your first impression of of Bobby and Andrew when you met them? Did to you? Bobby, I think I've said this before. When I saw him, <laughs> I saw him just like picking his like nose. Yes. And then he ate his booger. And then I was, I was just, who is this person? And I didn't even talk to him. I just, I just went into my room. Were you surprised that your aunt was dating that person? Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> I was just so surprised. But then he started talking and he was really funny. And that made me like less nervous. Okay. Yeah. With Tito Andrew, I saw him in a like bowling um, area, and then he was like really tall. I remember like his hair was really red. Yeah. And then he was, he he seemed like he was just angry, but I guess it was it's just his normal. Like, That's his base. Yeah, base. <laughs> like I was like really intimidated. Like even the way he spoke to me, I was like. Yeah, but yeah. I guess it's normal. So let's go to let's go to the movie. Okay. So wait movie, first. Yeah. I don't think Nausica doesn't have red hair, right? She has like blonde hair. No, like she has like kind of like orange, hair. orange reddish, reddish, orange reddish. Um, yeah. yeah. So, but not curly. Is it curly? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Look, you're really, really good at this. We, our stylist was like, this is what we can find, you okay. know, like as okay. close as possible. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I really oh. like the costume though. <laughs> it's so cute. 
But okay, so for for I don't think many people have seen this movie uh, of your generation. Mm. Can you tell us a little bit what what is this movie about? It's like um, a post-apocalyptic world where um, it's like insects versus like humans. And there was like a great, like a big war between them. And like basically this huge like insects, like mostly killed all the human civilization. And then eventually like these like big insects called, is it Ohms? Ohms. Yeah. They eventually died. And then like as their body was decomposing, it's like created like a lot of toxins and it grew into like, plants and then it made like a toxic jungle mm -hmm. and then that's basically it where we also see like this main character the princess nausicaa which i love the most she's like she leads with compassion she's so smart she's so strong she can fight anyone and she can lead the people and she just basically she knows how to communicate with this with like the insects And that's where, like, she, like, discovers, like, oh, we don't have to, like, just kill all, all these insects. We can, like, do other stuff to have, like, balance in this world. And in the end, yeah, she does that. Yeah. it's a, I, I think it's a beautiful movie. Um, it's from 1985. Obviously, you <laughs> you weren't here yet. So when, when did you see this movie for the first time? Who introduced you to this film? It was just me. I didn't see this movie i just saw this like recently like two years ago okay because i didn't know anything about studio ghibli until like when i moved here mm. and then i saw all the other films and it it was always like so beautiful like the the scenery and everything but with this movie i was just like um i usually don't like like old films and old animation but with this movie it's just different and yeah uh so you you've seen all the miyazaki movies most of them i haven't right. seen the other like older ones but yeah, yeah most of them and this one just like really stuck to me i don't know why it was just so beautiful i was I gonna ask you why 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 do you think this movie like resonated with you i it's just it's about insects and <laughs> animals i love that part right um nature and it's just I don't know. Even with the, you know, the song that the O made, the little baby, the na na. Can you can you sing it? Na 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 na. I don't know, but it's <laughs> it's the creepy sound music, and I I was I just fell in love with it, and that's when I decided I love this movie. 